over my single target build to mod 24. Um, this one's focused more on Temple of the Spider, but I'll just kind of go over variations I'll use um, for end game trials and other single target situations. Okay, so let's, <coughs> I'll take everything over. So gear, using uh, Gristro, right the new Gristro, um, the accuracy combat advantage, uh, chest piece, crit severity, uh, gloves, masterwork, just to get that group runs it. Obviously, if you're just running racks or RTQs or whatever, you can run Lionheart, the new set, when it comes and you get it. Um, uh, Mirage and all that fun stuff, right? Uh, applications. This one's on Chill Strike. I actually have another one. <laughs> this one is uh, um, Ray of Frost, just because I do own and just swap them, uh, just because Ray of Frost is a little smoother. Um, but I haven't, I haven't figured out which one I want to use most often, but I use both of them. And applications, recharge speed, and accuracy. And I, I just got the new boots, so these ones I think are pretty much best in slot in uh, Temple, just because of the 5% outgoing damage, and you're not losing income and healing, right? Like the old, um, I forget what boots called, 5% damage, you lose 25% income and healing. Uh, I have them, right? So I can, yeah, these ones here, right? Rest of leggings. So, and they're higher, way higher than item, item level as well. Other good options, right, are Wasteland Wanderers for combat advantage, right, and then the Forest Guardian Raid Boots for combat advantage as well. So, great options. This one, I think, is best uh, for Temple of the Spider. I like, um, I'm running the Red Dragon set for the combat advantage. Other great options you can run. Um, you can run uh, Gris or Mistelar, right, uh, Demo. Um, those are all great options as well. I just like it. Um, they're all very close, <laughs> honestly. Either one, whatever you want to choose, whatever one you want to get your build, right, um, and stuff like that. I'm running the new um, Vistani ring uh, from Temple of the Spider. It's a, it helps the group, right, and it stacks, right. So if all multiple people are running it, um, it's gonna it's gonna proc, right. So you have a few rings up in the top there. Um, our at will chilling cloud procs it. Um, the dragon fire, this thing right here, procs it. Yeah, my artifact is a debuff AOE that procs it as well, right? Um, so there's many things you can do um, if you're not if you're not running Chilling Cloud, right? Uh, just running Ray of Frost and stuff like that. Uh, running Soothsayers. This will probably change when I get to the new um, uh, the new Crit Strike ring and they fix it. <laughs> um, so I'll probably run that as well, just a constant five percent, right? Obviously, I'll lose two percent, but it is it is nice, right? Because a lot of situations that you are down life. And then you are losing Chris Strike um, with that as well. I'm running uh, the new set uh, from Dragon Hunts. You can just run the old um, Karoti Shirt sure, right for the 5% um, combat advantage as well. So, lots of different options um, for you. If you're not running, like if, I, if I'm being like in my group and the tool is something else, I'll just run any other artifact, right? Usually the 1200s are uh, best in slot anyway, so lots of different options. And then you can play around with it, which ones you want, uh, need, right? Um, and stuff like that. But that's the gear. I'm running Intelligence, Charisma, Charisma, I mean Recharge Speed, just because <laughs> Icy Rage hits like a tri pretty much a mini daily, um, and you kind of want that up all the time. And just, I'll, show you, I'll show you the build, or the rotation that I do. And this, this is why I stack uh, Recharge Speed. I do have the Recharge Speed ring, that I do want to try out, which is, uh, wherever it is, this one here. I want to try this out as well, stack some more recharge speed and see what, how if it's uh, beneficial. Some things I'm, I'm going to test out, I'll make an updated video later. But I just want to get this out just because I know people, my friends group were asking and other people were, so I just wanted to um, help out as well. So this is going to go up what, from my boots, right, 4500 um, power. Plus Raptor, I'm already uh, max. I don't need Forge's box to max it. So if I do die, um, it's already it stays at 90%, right? Which is awesome. Um, this one's pretty much max, plus 2,000, right? For some lords, so I'm at like um, <coughs> 54 and a half, right? And then the chest piece, and then my overload, right? So I'm at the 15%, right? So I'm at like 70% um, accuracy. Um, if I put the accuracy ring on as well. I'm at 75, right, um, um, which is really high, and less deflect, which is awesome as well. So this, right, uh, with some lords, I'm at 70. With Tudor, I'm at 75. With the chest piece, and then my uh, set proc in, I'm at 90. This, I'm at 80. If I get all procs with the mist, right, I'm at, at 90 as well. 
and then this is going to be 90, right, with market potency and um, squash soup. Uh, that's what I run there as well. Enhancements, crit strike, combat advantage, uh, crit severity, sorry, combat advantage, crit strike, and accuracy. These can change, right, depending on um, your build. In Temple of the Spider, I do run um, the Drow one for the first and second boss, and then I'll switch to the Spider one. I think the, I think the third boss is Drow and Spider. I forget, though. But if you don't have them or you don't have enough coin, right, just Rage of Flames is... Um, is perfect as well. Devil's Precision. Uh, Poison Thorn. And I have Recharge Speed as well. You can run AP gain if you want as well, if you choose that route. Powers. Uh, Chilling Cloud. Chilling Cloud can proc the uh, rip cage, right? And your headpiece um, by itself, let alone in a group with like armor break, vulnerability, and stuff like that. So you're always, you're getting stacks, right? Which is awesome. And then you have Ray of Frost, right? Ray of Frost. It's very smooth. You're not stuck in animation, right? So you can just keep spamming encounters without getting stuck, like Chilling Cloud does. It's a little clunky. I'm, I'm gonna keep using it for a while to see, um, just see if I get uh, used to it and I enjoy it. But Raven Frost, right, is just so smooth, <laughs> and uh, you don't get caught in any animations. Uh, Tangling Force, uh, Repel, uh, Icy Rays, and Chill Strike. One thing I want to test out would be Fireball on. Um, uh, R1, right, and I would lose, what's that one, uh, uh, Repel, that's 580, right, um, and stuff like that, but we'll see if it's worth it, because, like, this is under 10 seconds, right, the cooldown, this is at roughly 10 seconds, right, um, this is 12, so, um, something, something to try out as well, but Icy Rays is, is your biggest damage dealer, um, if I find this one works, I know, I know, Thaumaturges that use this as well in R1, and they do um, cons like just the similar damage, right? Because they're very good players. Ice knife, everything else doesn't really matter. Uh, and then I'm running critical configuration, 10% uh, crit severity and smolder, and then swap the destruction, right? So increase smolder damage, and then you're just always as soon as you apply one smolder, right? It's 2% more damage for everyone. So 3% there, right? And then you have the 2% uh, damage there. So you pretty much get like a uh, APOC set, right? You give in the group, um, which is awesome. If you want to be selfish, um, you have to switch it up, but if you wanted to run Frigid Winds, and you can use Icy Veins as well, um, you can run uh, Chilling Presence, right? But you're not going to give the group that 3%, um, so maybe you don't like your group. <laughs> and then you, can give, you don't have to give them uh, the 3%. Another one is if you have Fireball in there, right? So that'd be um, 3 uh, two ices, uh, um, two ice, right, and one uh, fire, or two cold, right, you can run Arcane Presence as well, right, so you can run uh, Magic Missile, right, and then get 5% more damage to your these three right here, which are your three biggest ones anyway, so um, that's that's definitely uh, an option to, to run. This is my main, this is, I've tested before the patch, um, the I used to run, and this one's uh, my favorite so far. I'll go over one, another one, so I'm running Relative Haste, uh, glowing Flames, just because there is AoE, right, in a lot of settings, um, and with the smaller uh, radiating. Uh, Shadow Strike, this is really why this, uh, th another reason why Thaumon Torch is so strong, and they buffed it, right, to, uh, to 200 magnitude, uh, so you're adding 200 magnitude, right, to all your control powers, uh, which is huge. And then with uh, Icy Rays, right, it procs twice, because you, you double tap in it. I'm running Critical Burn. Um, I just like the, the, the constant 10% damage at all times, right? I don't need to stack this up. Uh, for your wins, this is definitely a good option as well. Um, and Tom, right, you can run Icy Veins and Frigid Winds, and you kind of like you build your six stacks up immediately, right? And then they're propped, and then they're they're always uh, they're up until he disappears. But I just prefer Critical Burn. Um, but that's definitely a good option as well. Uh, Director Flame, very strong um, as well. I just prefer Ryan Fire Weaving. They're very close, honestly. It's Try it out yourself and see what you like, but I just, um, <clears throat> just because I'm only running two damage comps, this kind of helps out as well. And uh, I just find it a little bit uh, better for me. Bruins, right, all the same. You can run AP gain as well um, and, instead of master, master Class. Uh, crit Strike, uh, Awareness, and then um, we Revive Sickness. Companions are in Pseudo Dragon. Uh, another one, good one in the first uh, first boss is uh, Gith Yankee because there's a lot of AoE as well, which is a good choice. Um, Succubus, um, they're all good choices, right? But the Pseudo Dragon route is number one. Um, 
pretty much for a single target. Uh, Succubus is up there as well, because if she dies right, she'll do his big attack uh, right away. I'm running three accuracies for vision. So my comps, but I'm running Batiri, and then uh, Minsk. Um, so and then I'm running Black Dragon's Insight, Raptor, and then Alchemist. One that I want to try out would just be switching this off for um, a Neverwinter's Night and then changing my this to Chris Strike. And then everything be just everything would be the same except for accuracy will be seven and a half percent lower. So it's something I haven't really run any game trials since the new patch, just because we've been in Temple the Spider um, a lot. Uh, maybe I'll try it in Temple just because but I just like my build so much. <laughs> but that's a good option as well to run three damage comps. You lose some accuracy, but that's an option. Uh, tunnel vision and rapid accuracy. This just depends on what your build needs. Right, assassins, gladiators, artificial persuasion, gladiators, and warlords. You can run two assassins if you want to. I just I just like movement speed, and especially in the new dungeon, I'm always jumping around, teleporting, right, because there's so much crap on the ground that the, uh, two gladiators to get your stamina up, right, is nice as well. So I'll go over my rotation, okay? Let's just kind of get things going. That's, that's the build, okay? So what I'll do is, right, so we spawn in, right? So when the tank, as soon as the tank get up there and start aggroing it, I will do my first, these three encounters, right? So I'm at, I proc my chest piece, I proc my, uh, um, my artifact set, right? So I'm doing this, well, and then I'll just, I'll do my artifact after that, right? So I'll do this again as I go, just so it's a little easier. So I'll do the three and I'll stack, and then I can I call my artifact, and then all my cooldowns will be below 10, per, 10 seconds, right? So they'll be up again during the artifact call. So I'll come in, right? Three like that, they're almost at three like that, and I ch uh, proc. Look at that, and then if you raise daily, that, and then my three again. So you can do this in Tom as well. Um, if it's a slower group, you can do IC raise to first and then get it back, but uh, you, um, and then you keep going, right? So if you look here, so I proc the ring, um, and then what happens is I have to change from uh, my cloud, uh, chilling cloud, right? And I can go back to chilling cloud for a bit, and then I'll proc again, right? So it's up there again. So if I just keep chilling cloud, the ring needs a break. So it's off right now. If I keep doing this, it won't proc. So I gotta do my three counters. I'll do my ray of frost for a bit, and then I'll do it back to chilling cloud, and you'll see it proc up. It's like a little ring shape. Yeah, it's proc right now. And that's how I kind of do my artifact call. So then once it goes away, I'll do my three encounters, right? Go to uh, ray of frost, and back to ch uh, 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 chilling cloud to get that ring proc again. And if uh, and it does stack with other people are running it. So that's my single target, and then my rotation and theories behind it. Um, there's different variations you can run, but this is, I think, uh, my favorite one. The one I want to test out as well would be this one here. All right, this is more like uh, in Tom and, and other things as well. You can run anywhere. You just be able to uh, use, uh, your, your folks in a fridge of winds, right? And you can do chilling presence instead of swaps as well if you don't want to help the group out. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's another good option. So, I uh, hope this helps out. I'll make an updated single target video once I actually do some more in-game trials. Uh, um, and then I'll, I'll test some more stuff out in Temple as well. But uh, I hope that helps out. If you have any questions, just let me know.